Hi, this is Dave with Barton Industries. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to install the new pistol grip on your 2015 and newer Mustang. Now we already have the trim and the shifter mechanism here out of the car and this piece will actually be attached to your shift knob but we have it off so we can show you stuff more clearly. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab a hold of the trim and pry it up. It's going to take a lot of effort to pull it up but it will just pop out and you're not going to break anything so just grab right a hold of it and pull up and you'll start hearing the pop clips pop out. Once you have this popped up, you have a wire connection here and on the back side of it, there's just a little clip you're gonna push in and that's gonna remove it. And the clip is just right here. You just push in on it and it'll slide right out. Now, like I said, this boot will be attached right here to your shift knob, so you're just gonna to wanna to kind of pull the boot up to get it out of the way here. Okay, so once you have the wire disconnected, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull the bezel up here so that the boot kinda of goes around the shift knob. And if need be, you can start your car and move the shift knob back because there's two screws right here that we gotta get. And you're gonna want a stubby screwdriver and preferably one with a magnetic tip so you don't drop the screws. And right in the front of the shift knob is just two screws that we're gonna remove. And once you have those two screws removed, the shift knob and this bezel on the boot is just gonna slide right off. Okay, so once you have the shift knob and the boot off, your boot will still be attached to the shift knob, but I have it off so I can show you this a little bit better. What you're gonna wanna do is take this black piece and the shift knob, you're gonna wanna hold the black piece and your boot will still kind of be up here, but take the shift knob and rotate it clockwise, so towards your right arm, while holding this black, black piece, and you're going to want it to take a lot of pressure, you just turn it, and then you kind of wiggle it to get it off of there. So we have the black piece and the shift knob separate. Now this sh black piece here is going to have the shift boot glued right around here. So on your shift boot, it's just kind of going to be in there like that. You're just going to want to peel it away from this black piece. And then your shift boot will be ready to put on our shifter. So now the next step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this piece here and you'll notice that it has two small holes here. Those are going to go towards the back of the car and this slot will go towards the driver's side. So we're just going to slide that over and we're gonna reinstall the two screws that you previously removed. So get the first screw started. Don't tighten it all the way up, just get it started and then we're gonna start the second screw. And we'll go ahead and snug that one up and then snug the top one up. So once the two screws are tight, then what we can do is we're going to take the two provided springs and we're going to put those springs right in the two counterboard holes that we have in the back of the piece that goes down here. And now the next step will be to attach the boot to the shift knob. So you're going to want to push your boot down so that it's out like this and then make sure the P is towards the front of the car and you put your handle in so that it's facing the front of the car. And we need to just start pushing the boot around the grip here. You're gonna to have to slowly work it, but it will go around there. It's just gotta stretch out. Now you want to pull it so that the bottom part of the shift boot falls into this groove. And then once you have the shift boot in that groove there, we're just going to put the provided zip tie in 
into that groove as well. And secure the boot to the grip. And then we're going to need to trim off this excess zip tie. Zip tie secure on there, we're going to take a razor blade or a pair of snips and just remove the excess piece. And then it's a good idea to take the provided screw and just start it in the bottom of the handle here. And make sure it's not protruding all the way out. You just want to start it by a couple threads. And then we're going to slide that right over the shifter here and kind of wiggle it as you're putting it down so that the springs fall into where they need to in the grip. And then once you have it on there, push it down a little ways and then go ahead and put the screw in the rest of the way. Making sure that it goes into that slot that's in the side of the block there. Now this 332 Allen wrench will be provided with the shift knob. It's just a nice little snug there. Now what you're going to want to do is take the chrome bezel here in the plastic piece. You're going to want to re put in your electric connection here. Just clip that in. And then this plastic piece you're just going to simply pop back down onto your console and then just pull your boot down and everything should look factory there. Now what can happen is when you pull this chrome bezel off and you're trying to get this off your center console, this chrome piece can actually separate from the black piece and that's fine. If you pull the chrome bezel off then just finish pulling this out, just prying it up and then you can just pop those two back together. It's no big deal. So once you have this pop back down in place, push your shift knob down and make sure it pops back up freely and then you can, should be able to just move everything back around. And that's about it for the install.